Hi, welcome. This is GT Zone Trading Channel. And today we'll be talking about the new Mars Trader, the platform that um, Willis Capital just migrated all of the accounts to. For those of us who are using Windows, you will notice that um, all of your MT4 or MT5 accounts have been migrated to this platform. And I'm just here to review it to tell you how to use it and how nice it has been and uh, whether it is worth the transition or not because uh, frankly sometimes there are some transitions that are not really really necessary but is this worth the transition is this worth all of the efforts they are putting in let's dive into it all right so this is release capital uh, to start with this video is not sponsored this is my honest review my honest opinion about the platform because I've bought an account with them, not just one. As you can see here, you can see that I have two accounts with them, actually three, but one of them has been breached. So I have two accounts with them currently. And each of these accounts are $10,000 accounts, right? Now, um, this year you see, this is one of the beauty of the new platform is that all of your accounts are in one place. You can see all of your accounts right from the trading dashboard. You don't even need to log into your client area on the website before you can assess whatever is happening on your account so everything is pretty before your face you can see it all like you can see my profit target 500 dollars for this account and i entered a trade this morning to test the stop loss and take profits to see if they have some slippages or not okay so that's why i entered this trade to just test the platform later on i will do my analysis and enter a trade but then uh, I, I can confirm that, yeah, their stop loss and take profits operates properly. There is no slippage. And um, this is a dashboard you can see. I, you can see that out of 500, my, in my testing uh, base, I was able to get $1.54 from it. So uh, it shows a maximum daily loss. This is not a loss. I don't know why. Probably to reset by tomorrow. Okay. Maybe when after 24 hours it reset because I did not take a loss. This is just a drawdown of the account before I decided to um, reduce the stop loss and the take profit to hit this um, 1.54 you are seeing here. Actually, it's two dollar, but it's 1.54 because the two commission from it. I can show you the history clues. Yeah, you can see it here at the bottom here. So 1.54 profits over here but the commission is uh, 0 0.59 so it was two dollar profit before but they removed the commission now this is the beauty of it you can see that the close positions will appear here after the deposit i don't know why it's not showing anything here but it's supposed to show the deposits and the withdrawal here probably it's my system or i don't know it's supposed to be showing the deposits and withdrawal at this place so this here you know about what has transacted in the account whether they've deposited or they've withdrawn money. So then here is uh, pending orders. I don't have any pending order. I will, I will enter one in the course of this video. Then these are uh, open positions. They'll be showing under here, right here, just before your face. And if you want to enter a trade, it's very easy. If you want to enter a trade, it's very easy. Very easy. Just probably set your trade volume. That's your lot size. and. If you want to do instant buy or sell you just press it instantly but if you want to set the stop loss and everything then you click on new order and if you are entering market order that's instant execution you can set your stop loss and take profit also before you place the buy or sell all right so that's how you do it therefore depending on that the same thing you just come here you can set the stop loss and everything that you want to do just like you do in mt5 but why do i like this it's very easy it just calculates the value for you in dollars, everything, everything, everything. So I think I'm loving the way it is. So any asset I want to place the order on, the moment I just click, let's say I want to place order on GBP, JPY, the moment I just click, it will bring out the same thing. I don't need to go to another place. Just right before me here, I can set the order or just click on new order here and it takes me to this particular dashboard. I set my stop loss and take profit like I would do. And then, okay, voila, the whole thing is set. So now, if you want to switch between assets from one to the other, you just need to click on them and the chart will load over here. Okay, so 
Then also, one of the things that I need to is um, the fact that you can switch to trading view, okay, which is very nice. They are, uh, and, um, they are shots, which is the match trader itself. I did not really like the the, the UI UX. That's it. Let me explain to you. I just switched off now. So this is the um, the interface of the match trader. Whenever you switch an asset, it changes the time frame to one minute. I don't like that. I don't like that. It cannot stick to one time frame. Whenever you switch the asset, it changes the time frame to minutes. You have to start going back to your time. That's not nice. And secondly, there are no more analytical tools here. I only have vertical line, channel, horizontal line, trend line, and Fibonacci tool. No other tool to analyze. Just only this tool. And that's not enough for some of us. Okay. For someone like me that I use rectangle a lot, I use um, um, that as a profit target. I need to measure all those things. I don't have those tools here. So if they are in any other place here, because I've checked the settings, there's nothing here to display grid lines or not. That's the only thing that is here. To display the positions or not. That's the only thing that is here. I don't really like the match trader, but I think that you can switch it to trading view and customize it and use it however you want. You understand me? So for those of you who may not like the match trader like just like me, so you just switch your charts to trading view and you have access to all analytical tools that are in trading view for free everything everything okay so now what you want to place your trade for you will not be able to place your trade on the charts you can place it okay but you must switch to the asset you want to trade you want to trade gold you switch to that asset and then uh, it will show you the charts you analyze and you place trade very easy very very easy i don't know why my trading bots yeah so this trading view is kind of still loading and everything is all the favorite tools I normally like to use is all here. Now, you may be wondering, uh, this thing is very small. Or can we not expand this particular chart? Yes. Just click on the other side, uh, at this other type, top right corner here, the screen, and you'll be able to analyze, okay? But my chart is still loading, so maybe when it's done, I will get back to that. So now, all your open positions, your pending orders, Finance as your deposit and withdrawals and your closed positions, you can see them right here. So whatever your account is doing over here, you can see it out of the five hundred dollars. You can see what you have made. You can see what you have lost here. You can see your overall losses here. Okay. You can see news as calendar, uh, important news for the day. You can see everything under this place. All right, with their impact, you can see everything here. And then uh, for top movers, that's the ones that have moved so well in the last twenty-four hours. You are going to see them here also. This is very, very nice. Very, very, very nice. I really like it. So for the symbols, for the assets, you can decide to go to all symbols and you can select them by category. Commodities, crypto, you know, FX, that's currency pairs. You can decide to use indices. You just go to indices and you search for indices. Everything is well arranged for you here. Then you pop up here, that's gold, Gemini 30, silver, US 500. They are under the popular. You can also decide to mark favorite ones, select favorite ones, and put them under favorite. These are my favorite assets, and you will see them here. Okay, go GBJPY, Germany 30, US 500. You know, this is a US oil, WTI, Bitcoin. You see all these ones here. You can decide to select your favorite assets that you want to trade and just keep them here. You just be watching only those ones anytime you want. Let's get back here. Chart. If you want to expand this chart now, you just click on this button. It takes you like this. It's so so nice. So, so the so analysis is very easy. But I just love the fact that you can switch it to trading view. It gives you the user experience of trading. Okay, I don't use indicators to trade, but let's see if we can get access to some indicators here. Oh, not loading them. I don't know. Probably it's my network. I think it's my network because my network is fine. Probably is my my system, all right. So, but you can set the chart you want, right? You can set the chart however you want. Go to normal settings over here. 
and you can set the chance basically like you would do when you are using trading view everything you want to do is right you can set it however you want you can come here set you want to use it okay so that's one of the beautiful this uh trading view that they added to it i think it's so nice so nice now the most important part of this whole thing for me is the fact that the account performance look at the profile over here at the top right corner once you click on performance you should see how your account is performing but i can't see mine for some reason since they upgraded this thing over the weekend you know they did this take on friday and since this upgrade i cannot see my account dashboard so if i want to even switch from one of these accounts to the other one it will switch automatically everything that's happening in your account in fact you don't need to log in to the website your client area to have access to any information everything is just here do i have any negative thing to say about this match for now i don't think i do because placing trades is very easy um stop loss and take profits they work very fine no slippage you know I want to analyze the chart on trading view is here before my eyes i can see everything that is happening to the account in front of me so i think this is one of the best platform i have ever used okay i would say the best of the best that i've used is derive x i've used derive x to trade and um, is so so nice i don't think any other thing compares to it why you can also switch to trading view with derive x and once you place a trade, you can see the entry price, the stop loss and take profit. You can move them, adjust them on the chart, however you like. That's the only thing much trader does not have. When I enter the trade, I could not move the stop loss and take profit on the chart. I needed to go to edit to modify the trade at the bottom here under these open positions i needed to modify it here before i can change stop loss and take profit i couldn't change stop loss and take profit right there on the chart that's the only thing i don't like so uh nine out of ten it should be okay is it up to nine let me give them eight out of ten because i think uh, i gave the reef nine out of ten so this should be eight out of ten why i prefer the reef x more than this match trader. So maybe the people that designed this uh, user interface, uh, they can just go and spy on and see the better side of it that they can that they have not done here, and then probably implement it. Like I should be able to move the stop loss and take profit while on the charts. That should be something everyone wants to do okay that's something you should add for us add let me be able to move the stop loss and take profit on the chart i could not do that it was not network issues i was not able to do it i don't think the function is there so please add that function and this match trader will be 10 at 10 and let this account performance be responsive this is not my network so this is something i think uh, started happening after the upgrade Upgrade, I was able to access this dashboard. I could see everything that my account is doing. So, guys, I don't know if you have an account with um, Willis Capital. Like I said, it's not sponsored. So, the only thing that I can benefit from this is if you will use my link uh, in the description to buy an account in case you want to buy an account with them. All right, check the description of this video and you will get the link to buy your own account. And maybe you can just try them out for the, for the sake of buying. All right, we'll meet again. Happy trading.